theoretical physics, Dr. Fizz, matrix groups, and where they fit. Well, the general n by n matrix over the complex field where the matrix has an inverse in each case, then those matrices form a group and we call those the general linear group of n by n matrices here over the complex uh, field. Now in our chapter we have looked at unitary matrices. This would be a subgroup where the matrix now has to have its Hermitian conjugate be equal to its inverse. Then if we impose that the determinant must be 1, we have the special unitary group of n by n matrices, often referred to as SUN without the C, since it's understood that the complex field is being used. Here I want to emphasize that and have some cases here where the groups do not have complex numbers. In fact, one is our rotation group 2 by 2 matrices where we rotated coordinates, you know, x and y to x prime, y prime, and that gave us a special orthogonal group because the orthogonal condition was that you could multiply the column in the matrix. If you look at the, uh, the, the column, the two columns, and multiply the respective components and get zero when you add them, and the same for the, uh, the rows. So this is what we have looked at in our in our chapter, a subset of GLN, UN, and then a subset SUN and a subgroup SON. And here we just had real numbers. Now you could also take other paths. Uh, this top floor are complex matrices, matrices with complex uh, elements, and the ground floor, blue, are matrices that have real elements. So if you want to go from complex to real, you can just slide down here. And notice that here we can slide over to here to the orthogonal matrices. And then we can go to the orthogonal real and then the special orthogonal real that we looked at here in two dimensions, two by two. Or we can slide here over to special. Special means that the determinant is equal to one and we could slide down here to special where the real numbers are used instead of the complex numbers. So there's various pathways you can get. This is a neat little map that shows you sort of the like the grand parent of the groups and then the various subgroups.